But right now I have a special guest in the studio. She is Brianna Will here, seen on season 12 of Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders making the team on the CMT Network. She's a New Jersey native, though. Welcome to SoJo 104.9, Brianna. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming in today. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. Um, so I have long been obsessed with Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders making the team on CMT, which could really kind of get me thrown out of South Jersey because <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles are where it's at here. Yes, but the process of what it's like to become not only an NFL cheerleader, but an elite NFL cheerleader, um, Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders are known all over the world. That is the pinnacle. So mm -hmm. I guess from my perspective, you graduate high school and you immediately just move to Dallas. Yeah, two days after I graduated, I flew right to Dallas. Why Dallas Cowboys right away? Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders is known to be world class and I just wanted to shoot for the stars and just aim high. Um, were, were you, uh, was this something that you've always wanted to do? Like anyone in your family grow up Dallas Cowboys fans or did you actually watch the show too and say, hey, I think I could do this. Actually, my parents have season tickets to the Eagles games, and when they're on the away games, we watch them on TV, and the camera just shot by uh, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders one time, and I was like, I definitely need to be a part of that team. So obviously, you've, you've been a lifelong dancer. When and where did you start your training? Like, how old were you and where did you train? In South Jersey, or I know you have family in Delaware Yeah, as well. I originally started at like a dance studio just for fun called D Dots, and when I grew up a little bit more, my mom realized we need to take this a little bit more seriously, and I danced in Woodstown at DVJC Dance Conservatory, and then I started in middle school dancing at a performing arts school in Delaware called Cal Calloway, and I switched studios to a studio in Delaware um, called American Dance Academy. So from there, you say uh, maybe the NFL is is for me. Yeah. So what was your experience like in Dallas? Who did you move there with? How do you find like an apartment there? What are you thinking going into an open call with 400 girls, Brianna? Um, you don't know what to expect. The days are so long, but once I, when I flew to Dallas for training camp, I was staying in a hotel my whole time there. Um, my mom and dad visited me at separate times and tried to keep me company, but I was mostly by myself in the hotel room. Just focusing on dance. Yeah. So you, very early on, Kelly Finglass is the director of cheerleading for Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders. Um, she's become a reality star in her own right at this point, um, with, you know, a million Twitter followers. You, you landed on her radar very early on. What did that feel like? I feel like they really focused, the TV series focused on your story for a pretty long time. Mm-hmm. Um. My, my goal in the beginning was just to really just show them my solo in the finals and I made it past that so I'm really proud of myself. But just to know that Charlotte Jones and Kelly Finglass and Judy all mm -hmm. just loves me, it's, it just feels good. It's a, with a big endorsement when there's that many girls vying for what, 38 spots on the team. Yeah. Um, and then you get to a, a point where there's so few people left mm -hmm. and they begin to nitpick. What was it like to get called into the office? Several, did that really happen several nights in a, in a row? No, the cameras are not there every night. They usually come two to three times a week, but um, just to shorten an episode time to make it look like how it's not in real life. But um, yeah, you never want to get called into the office. It is really intense there, but you take it with a grain of salt and take the corrections and work with it. So I've actually um, gone through, well, let me stop this real quick. Oh, technical difficulties, just a minute. Okay. Um, I went through the process about 15 years ago for the Philadelphia Eagles cheerleading. Okay. So it's probably, I've been a, a lifelong cheerleader slash dancer my whole life, but you really need to be a dancer. When you, if you think you're going to go just get the pom-poms and like you're going to start building pyramids when you try out for the NFL, <laughs> it's so not like that. But it's a grueling process, and it's really only when you make it down to getting into the room with the veterans, the, mm -hmm. the girls who have been on the squad before. On DCC, it looks really like a sisterhood, like an environment, whereas 
I sort of didn't experience that. When you get into the room and it's the rookies versus the veterans, there's energy that you can cut with a knife. Like, it's very clear they want their spot back and they'll do everything to keep you from getting it. Yes, ma'am. So what, was it really nice? Because in a couple episodes, actually one of the girls that you're pictured with on your Instagram got called in for being like a mean girl. Did you experience that or was it really as tight knit and were the veterans as helpful as they looked? It's so tight knit. Um, they're the nicest girls I've ever met. I would go back to Texas and stay the week with them again. I, I love Tess. She was one of my group line buddies during practice for kicks. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll never forget my experience there with them. You just have to stay close because it's such a difficult time just being away from your family and not knowing anybody but them. And you're with them for a very long time during the day. So it is a very tight knit group and we all love each other. That's really cool. It is that cool. makes me happy to hear. Yeah, it's just a big thing. Because it is it's so competitive. I don't I don't know if people who haven't auditioned before realize how rigorous the process can be, both physically and mentally. Uh, what's it what was it really like having tell uh, I'm sorry, having TV cameras on you like all the time? It's strange and at 2:30 in the morning, you don't always want a camera in your face when you're crying, but you just have to deal with it and Work with what you got. So is is it really takes a lot longer? Yes. Because you're sitting in the you're sitting in the fitness room, mm -hmm. and obviously they have to go and set cameras up in Kelly's office and call one girl in at a time. So even though you may have finished practice at like 10:30 at night, you're hanging around for four. See, these are the things we don't get to see. Yeah. It's very curious to me. So um, all right, so. You made it almost all the way there. I think you were eliminated with, what, like 43, 44 members on the team, and they're going to get down to 38 eventually, something I like that. So, yeah. You got that close. Mm -hmm. are, you go are you going back? At this time, I don't think it's um, the right thing to try out next year, but I think maybe in a few years when I'm grown up a little more, I, sure. I think I might go back. But as of right now, I'm just gonna go to school next year and okay get a well, degree. do you in the, think in the meantime you'll keep it local and maybe try out for Eagles cheerleading maybe I do go to their games I do see the cheerleaders often so it might be fun to try and if you made it all the way to almost the end of DCC I think they would be so <laughs> silly to not yeah, to not make you part of their squad. I would love to see that. Well, I'm so happy to have met you. It's been a fun ride. I can't wait to see how the season ends up. Um, do you watch very often? Like, will, will you watch? I watched up until training camp, and then I think I'll probably watch, start watching again, but I didn't want to. The freelings are so fresh to me. I didn't want to watch myself go through them again. So recently but yeah it was emotional <laughs> it was really dramatic but I, I honestly applaud you for doing it it Thank took me you. like a good I, I didn't try out until I was 27 and I probably did it because I thought well wow this is really like I'm getting a little too long in the tooth for this um, and so I really applaud you that you decided to go right when you were done school Thank you. and give it all you got it was really fun to watch you so what are your plans next what do you, what do you want to do like long term you're going to go to school what do you want to study I want to study business and marketing okay well we can't wait to see where Brittany uh, Brit Brianna will here goes <laughs> next uh, she has roots in Medford New Jersey that's where she hangs out now uh, family in Delaware so she's definitely a South Jersey definitely a local girl and um, we appreciate you coming in to hang out with yeah, us today. Yeah thank you for having me. Sojo 1049.